Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today, I will show you how to install and set up ELK stack, which is Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. So let's proceed. First thing is that I will be creating one virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform, but it doesn't matter where you create this virtual machine, you can create in AWS or in Azure, I'm creating here in Google Cloud Platform. Before creating this virtual machine, let me tell you that I have arranged all the required commands to set up this ELK stack in my GitHub repository. And the repository link is github.com slash AWS Tech Guide. Inside AWS Tech Guide, you will get a repository called script. And inside script, you will get ELK stack setup dot MD. Just click on that. You will get all the listed commands over here. And in this tutorial, I will be executing one by one and will show you how it's working. So first we have to create one virtual machine, as I said, so I'm just creating one instance. Just giving an M E L K stack. I'm not specifying any particular thing, just changing this image. I will be using Ubuntu image, selecting Ubuntu and selecting suppose 1604 LTS. Select allowing HTTP traffic, HTTPS traffic and just click on create. Let me tell you one thing. I have my all ports open already. Let me show you the firewall. So go to firewall. If you are using your uh, AWS, then check your security groups. If you are using Azure, check your network rules. But in GCP under firewall, since I have one egress rule, which allows all for all ports and another ingress rule applies to all and for all protocols and ports. That's why I do not need to set a rule for a particular port I need to open for Kibana. Uh, definitely I'll show you. So let's go back to our virtual machine and let's see the new virtual machine has been up or not. Yes, it is up. So just click on over here and open in browser window. It is connecting to our instance. We are logged into our newly created virtual machine. Now let's go back to our scripts. Now before starting the setup of ELK stack, we need Java installed in our virtual machine. So first I am just updating the virtual machine. It is simply sudo apt get update. So it is updating the packages. Update done. Now we are installing OpenJDK 8. OpenJDK has been installed. Let me clear the screen and check the Java version. Well, we have OpenJDK 1.8.0. Now let's go back for the next step. It is download and install public signing key. So just copy this URL and we need to add the public signing key for Elasticsearch. Take enter. Yes. Okay. Next install apt transport HTTPS package and to install that package just run this command. It has installed. Now save the directory definition. We have to save the directory for Elasticsearch. It's saved. Now update and install Elasticsearch. Now on this command, if you see, we are first updating 
we have already updated but after saving this directory definition and installing the transport https package we are doing one more update so it is better to update the packages once again so i'm just updating is done now we will be installing elastic search then log stash and then kibana okay so in a single command i am just writing it to install elastic search log stash and kibana just copy it paste it over here it will take few minutes to install one by one first elastic search then log stash then kibana well now all these three things have been installed which is our elastic search lost log stash and kibana but before starting the service for elastic search and kibana we have to do some configuration change so let me clear the screen and let's go back to the github page here we have to do the configuration change for elastic search first and for that we have to edit elastic search yml which you will get under etc elastic search elastic search dot yml first i am changing the user to sudo now let's open the elastic search yml file yeah it has opened now press i to edit this file and first thing we have to edit is cluster name i am just uncommenting this cluster name and editing as aws tg as elk you can give them any name you want it is the cluster name only next one is the node name i'm just uncommenting it node name and again aws tg node name and you will get all this i have mentioned over here as well so you do not need to worry next thing we have to change the network binding so our network host we have to edit and you will get the network host under network section uncomment the network and replace this ip address with 000 see the purpose of replacing this ip address to 000 means your elastic search can be accessed from any ip but if you are using your elastic search for your enterprise production purpose then you can put a particular ip where it will be accessed means your elastic search will be accessed from that ip from that network only well now i'm just opening the po http port for elastic search which is 9200 i am not changing the port number but i have just uncommented it but uh, just let me remind you that since i have the ingress and egress rule already open for all ports that's why i am not adding this 9200 with our virtual machine but if you are using aws and you have your security group make sure that you open the port for it our next is we have to set up a discovery type as single node since it is the single node we will be using so just scroll down at the last and add this discovery dot type colon single dash node now i am just saving this file i have saved it now it is the time to start the elastic search service we have done the needful configuration to start the elastic search service just type or run this command system ctl start elastic search click enter it may take few seconds and it will start if it doesn't give you any output it means that it has started successfully or if you have done any typo or any misconfiguration in elastic search dot yml it will show the error 
well since it didn't give any output so it seems that everything is fine with Elasticsearch. So let's check the status. System CTL status Elasticsearch and you see that it is active and running. Now our next thing is configure Kibana. But remember that Kibana need but remember that Kibana needs Elasticsearch as prerequisite and Elasticsearch should be up and running while you are trying to run Kibana. That's why we had set up Elasticsearch first and made it running. Now to configure Kibana or before configuring Kibana, if you want to check or validate Elasticsearch cluster help, so you just run this curl command over here which is basically called xget command and since it is the same system I am running from that's why it is localhost and port number is 9200 and you see the status it is showing green as our Elasticsearch service is working fine running perfectly that's why it is the status is green. Now let's configure Kibana and to configure Kibana we have to configure or update the kibana.yml file. Let's update that file, edit it. We have to first edit the server port and server name. So our server port and server name, your server name is here just change the name next thing is server port and server host so our server host is over here and we are not changing this local host the reason is Elasticsearch and Kibana are both are in a same virtual machine that's why we are not specifying any separate IP to connect to Elasticsearch host. Here is a port, just uncommented server dot port, which is 5601. Again, remember that you should have this 5601 open in your ingress rule as we are using GCP. And if you are using Azure or AWS, you make sure that in your network role, 5601 is open. And here is our server host. Replace local host and write 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. Well, I'm just saving it, closing over here. So same like Elasticsearch, we will be starting the system CTL service. Start Kibana. placed enter and it seems since it doesn't have any output so it looks that Kibana is running fine let's check the status yes it's running fine so now to verify Kibana copy the public IP of your virtual machine and colon 5 601 which is the port for Kibana as you see that Kibana server is not yet ready so it takes little bit of time you can do a refresh yes now Kibana is loading or Kibana UI is up click on explore my own Click on the left side of this three arrow, this menu function, you will get the vertical menu over here. You can close it. And here is our Kibana up and running. So in this tutorial, we have seen that how we have installed Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana and how we have set up all these three together. If you have any question, please write in the comment box below. I'll be happy to help you.
see you in our next session thank you